Hello everyone, and today I'll be reading a multi-character ex-listener by me. So let's get into it. You never thought that being caught in the middle of a love triangle would be so difficult. Xiao and Skirmish, two of the most skilled fighters in all of Teyvat, were vying for your attention and affection. They were both so different, yet equally alluring, making it nearly impossible for you to choose between them. Xiao was quiet and reserved, but there was an intensity in his eyes that drew you to him. His loyalty and dedication to his work as Ayaksha was unmatched, and you admired his commitment to protecting the people of Liyue. He was always there to lend a hand, even when it meant putting himself in danger. Skirmish, on the other hand, was charming and confident, with wit as sharp as blades. He was always quick with a joke, or a sarcastic one, but the joke nonetheless, and sometimes even a flirtatious remark, and you couldn't help but be drawn to his playful nature. But beneath the surface, you knew there was more to him than a smooth talker and a better person. He had a darkness to him, a danger, but so much honesty that made your heart race. Both men had been pursuing you relentlessly, taking you on dates, showering you with gifts. You couldn't deny the attraction that you felt, and you knew you couldn't keep leading them both on. You had to make a decision. It all came to a head one day, when both Shao and Skirmish showed up at your doorstep, ready to confront each other. I don't think you're right for her, Shao said to Skirmish, his voice slow and serious. You're too unpredictable, too reckless. You will end up hurting her. Skirmish scoffs. Oh, please, like you're any better. You're all brooding and dark, like you're just waiting for something to snap. Shao bristled at the insult, but he kept his cool. At least in Marawak in disaster like you. The tension in the air was so thick you could cut it with a knife, and you couldn't help but feel a sense of dread wash over you. You didn't want to see these two amazing men fight over you. Guys, please stop, he said, trying to calm them down, but they didn't listen. They were too focused on each other, too blinded by their own jealousy and desire for you. You know what? I'm done with this, Skirmish said, his voice rising. I'm not going to stand here and let you talk down to me. If I wants me, she can have me. And if not, I'll find someone who appreciates me for who I am. Shao's expression softened. They turned to you. He's right, Moyan. You should choose him. He's more suited for you than I am. Both you and Skirmish were shocked by that, since they were just arguing. But now that Chow just truly heard Skirmish's words, he knew he wasn't fit for you. Not with his karmic debt, or demons, not at all. But even though that was the truth, you could still see the pain in his eyes now. Shao, I don't want to lose you, he said, reaching out for him. He shook his head. I'm sorry, Wyon. I just, I don't think I'm fit for you. I might hurt you. I don't want to be able to live with myself if that happened. Skirmish, take care of her. And with that, Shao turned and walked away, leaving you alone with Skirmish. You were stunned, but Skirmish's hand on your shoulder brought you back to reality. Hey, are you okay? He asked, his voice softening. You looked up at him, tears in your eyes. I don't know what to do. I care about both of you so much. But I can't choose between you. He pulled you into a hug, holding you close. Hey. It's okay. You don't have to choose right now. 
take your time, figure out what you really want, and know that no matter what, I'll always be here for you. His words were comforting, and you felt a sense of relief wash over you. Maybe you didn't have to make a decision right away. Maybe you could take some time to think things over, to weigh your options. But deep down, you knew what your heart truly really desired and wanted. And as Skirmish held you in his arms, you realized that he was the one you wanted to be with. His playful nature, his confidence, his protectiveness, they all spoke to something deep within you, something that you couldn't ignore. I, I think I know what I want, you said, pulling away from him. He looked down at you, his expression hopeful. Yeah, what's that? You took a deep breath, stealing yourself. I choose you, Skirmish. I want to be with you. A soft smile spread across Skirmish's face, and he scooped you up in his arms, twirling you around happily. You won't regret it, Wyan. I promise. I'll make you the happiest person in all of Teyvat. You laughed, killing a weight left off your shoulders. Maybe things wouldn't be so complicated. Maybe you had made the right choice. And as you looked into Skirmish's eyes, you knew that you had. And you knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, you would face them together. Three weeks later, you were smiling at Skirmish, feeling your heart skip a beat. It was hard to believe that just a few weeks ago, you were caught in the middle of a love triangle. Now here you were, wrapped in his arms. His eyes filled with affection. I'm glad you picked me, he said, his voice soft. You leaned your head against his chest, feeling his heartbeat under your ear. I'm glad too. I don't know what I would have done if I had to choose between you and Chow. He chuckled. Yeah, I don't think you would have taken it well. But he's a good guy. I'm glad we can all be friends. He nodded, feeling grateful for the way things had turned out. Xiao had been a little bit distant at first, but he eventually came around, accepting your decision and even congratulating you both. It was a relief to see that the two men who had fought over you were now getting along. I think he really cares about you, you know. He says, pulling you a little closer. He just wants to make sure you're safe. He nodded, feeling a pang of guilt. Xiao had always been so protective of you, and you couldn't help wonder if he had been right all along. But then again, you couldn't deny the way Scaramouche made you feel, the way he made your heart race and your skin tingle. I know, but I feel safe with you too. You make me feel special. Scaramouche's eyes light up. And he leans in to kiss you. It was a soft kiss. Sweet. Filled with tenderness and affection. You melted into him. Feeling like you could stay there forever. You are the special one. He whispered against your lips. I'm just lucky to have you in my life. He smiled. Feeling a surge of warmth in your chest. I'm lucky too. The two of you stayed like that for a while, wrapped up in each other's arms. Eventually, you pulled away, feeling a little bit shy. So, what do we do now? You ask, feeling a little bit unsure. Skirmish grinned. Whatever we want. We could go out, or we could stay in. Maybe watch a movie, or play some games, or... He trailed off. A mischievous glint in his eye. Or what? You asked. Feeling a little nervous. He leaned in. Whispering in your ear. Or you could just stay right here. And enjoy Trevor's company. Your face flushed. Feeling a surge of excitement. He had always been bold. But he never had been with someone who made you feel this way. 
It was something amazing. I like the sound of that. I thought you might, he says, chuckling softly. And with that, he leaned in to kiss you again. The two of you lost in your own little world. It was a new beginning for you. A new chapter in your life. And you couldn't wait to see where it would lead.